Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, Created Journey. I am Amber Masterson and I am so excited to start on this new venture. This is something that um, I feel God laid on my heart over a year ago and it's just taken me some time and some vision to get everything going and started, but I am very excited to go on this journey. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will link that below. I would love for you to come in and interact with me. I want to get to know you guys. Nathan and I have been in the graphic design world since we were married. Um, I personally have done graphic design for over 10 years. And every time I feel like that there's a new challenge, I have to rise to the challenge. I have to figure it out. I have to learn. And I want to master that. And so I myself have been a YouTube watcher throughout the years. So today we're going to go over how to crop images and stickers into GoodNotes. I've recently got into digital planning and I very much enjoy it. And so that was something that I kind of struggled with at the beginning. I could make stickers all day long, but I couldn't figure out how to just get them to crop in there as easily as possible. And so that is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so here is my digital planner. I made this back um, this summer. Uh, it just very much screams me. Um, you will notice as I'm going through this, there's a little bit of a lag on this planner. I don't know if that is because of GoodNotes, that there's a lag in GoodNotes, or if there is a lag because I've got so many stickers and graphics and images in this. And it could be a combination of both. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance for the lag that you will see as we go through this. So here's my front cover. This is my uh, planner for July through December. And we are starting September. And I have done absolutely nothing in my September um, planner so far. So we're gonna, you're going to see it's kind of blank. But we're going to kind of mess with this today. So... When you get into it, it has my navigation, and let's just go to September. Okay, um, on this planner, I have all of my months here, and then I have my goals, financials, habits, it's the habit tracker, my prayer life, some notes or doodles that I do, and then I can go back to my navigation. So this is where it starts, but today's video is about how to get images and stickers cropped into your own good notes. So here we go. Mine are saved into Dropbox. So we're gonna go up here to this little plus sign. It's at the top left hand side. Let's go to image and then I'm gonna use Dropbox, but you could use, you know, your own iPad storage or whatever. Alright. see my ridiculous amounts of stuff. Alright, I'm using these. This is from, these stickers are from another Etsy shop that I have. Um, I don't really work it that much. It's just where I have thrown some of my design stuff, but let's just open this up. Okay, so this is not the one I wanted. This would have been like if you wanted to um, if you didn't have a planner that had your months already. So I'll go ahead and crop this and I'll show you how you could do this. So it's still selected right now. You want to make sure it's still selected. You're going to hold down on it and don't let go. And you're going to see this come up at the top and it says crop, export, or delete. We're going to crop that. And we're going to do the free hand on this. It'll be easier. So we've got free hand checked. Rectangular would be that. I'll show you a rectangle um, crop here in a minute. But let's start with free hand. So we're just going to outline where we want this to crop. 
This is a PNG image, so it's not going to have a background showing. All right, so I've got it circled. Nothing else is in it that I don't want. And I'm just going to press Done. And so once it brings it over, you can resize it. You can move it. So let's say that I wanted to just put this down here. Let's say I kind of want to put it like that. And then once it's there, you're just going to click off of it and it's set. But let's say we want to move this. Let's say, oh, I don't like that. We're going to go up here to um, our lasso tool and we'll just kind of lasso that. And you can move it then. You can move it wherever you want. Um, you can resize it. So that is how you would do a rectangular crop. Now, I'm going to show you, no, not a rectangular crop. That is a freehand crop. Let's go and I will show you how to do a rectangular crop. So I'm going to go back to add image and I'm going to Dropbox. I'm going to go back to my digital planning stickers. Um, trying to decide here which one to use. Okay, so this would be a great one to rectangular do. So we're gonna, while it's still selected, don't click anywhere until you're ready to start working because if you click off of it, you'll have to redo this segment. So once it's still selected, you're gonna hold it, go to crop, and let's go to rectangular. And let's say that, okay, I typically do my laundry on the weekends. So I am going to just crop this by using their rectangular tool. You'll see that I've got it circul uh, I've got it um, outlined and nothing else is within the outline except what I'm wanting. So once you do that, press done and we've got laundry day. So I'm going to go and put that on one of my Fridays. So I'm resizing it. And we're going to put it in there. And there we go. See, and that's totally not um, centered, and that bothers me. So as I zoom in, I can see that a little bit more. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's laundry day. So that is two ways that you can use stickers on a sheet that are not individually... Um, saved and to crop them to use them into your own digital planner so I just want to thank y'all for stopping in today and I hope that this helps you and we will see you soon bye bye